Hey everyone, Aaron here again with Fit by Nature Training with another entry from my Grease in the Groove series. This one is going to be about the deep squat to the back bridge move, which is the single best thing you can do after sitting all day. Now essentially the thing that you want to do is not to sit all day, obviously, but sometimes in different situations like me, if you're a full-time student at college, you can't really get away with not sitting. So the point of this move is to visit three things that you simply do not do when you're sitting in a chair all day. And those three things are visiting the extreme range of motion of a deep squat, going into full extension in the spine with the back bridge, and having a good sense of core stabilization and midsection tension in the ELSA transition that you see me doing. My favorite part of this movement complex is actually the back bridge position because it essentially unwinds the sitting position you have all day, which tends, which tends to be an overly stressed and flexed position. The back bridge strengthens the postural muscles that allow you to extend and will actually make you more tolerant of the sitting position. Plus, the back bridge stretches all the hip flexor muscles, which tend to become chronically tight after sitting all day as well. It really is the opposite of sitting, which is what the deep squat is. So these two put together are a fantastic combination. Now the back bridge tends to be a very unfamiliar position for a lot of people, so sometimes it's necessary to regress it into somewhat of an easier progression. Now the up on toes might seem harder than the previous one, but it is actually easier because it gives you less range of motion to work with, especially if you're overly tight in the spine or in the hips, which a lot of people are. This move can also be made easier by bending at the knees a little more and breaking at the elbows. Since the spine is usually the limiting factor in this movement, an easy way to work on that is to stand near a wall, your back facing it, and to reach back and touch the wall. And doing this repeatedly, slowly moving further and further away from the wall, until you've reached a point where you feel your spine may be comfortable getting into the back bridge position. Do this with a friend at first so that he or she can catch you just in case you fall backwards. We don't want you to hit your head. The deep squat is a very fundamental human movement and you should be able to get into it. But if you can't, then find something to grab with your hand so that you can hold the position and work on getting comfortable in it. Your feet should be shoulder width apart, heels on the floor, and hips should be below the knees. But if you can't quite make it there yet, then try to go as far as can and work on getting into the full deep squat. The L sits can sometimes be a little difficult to jump right into, so to break it down, just bend your knees and cross your ankles and hold a semi L sit looking position for as long as possible until you've gotten the strength to do the full L sit. So there you have it. If you find yourself living a lifestyle that requires you to sit quite often and for quite prolonged periods of time, then I would recommend taking some of the moves I just showed you and throwing them into a little movement flow that works for you. But now when you do this movement flow, I would also recommend that you accumulate at least 10 minutes or so in these positions. It doesn't have to be 10 minutes in each position, but at least 10 minutes total. And I almost guarantee that you will see a difference in how you feel sitting, standing, and just overall. Now, if you like what you've watched, then subscribe for more, and thank you for watching.